It's a Tuesday, which means there's a content drop. I could get used to this. More content spread out. Multiple content drops a week. I like it. There's a program today. There's a very fun event reward and maybe more. Leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, and that's get into it. Brand new all-star program. We're getting to that point. All-star is near. Let me know in the comment section who you guys have been voting for. Some underrated guys that might sneak into the all-star game. Uh, I don't know. I think Jaron Duran out of Boston deserves a lot more love. Elliot Ramos as well. But let's look at this program. We've got <laughs> an interesting pack here. Um, a thousand stubs or a show pack? <laughs> um, okay, that's kind of goofy. Uh, then you see Chris Davinsky right here. 89 overall, but 7,500 XP. I'd probably rather have the 7,500 XP. Uh, I, I would definitely rather have the 7,500 XP. Uh, 113, hit nine, good. 95K per line, pretty good. Uh, the pitch mix, really bad. <laughs> um, good God. Uh, not what I would call great, but you were an XP, which is the promising part. Uh, a couple more stubs. You see Carlos Pena, as well as 7,500 XP. He is not great. He does fit Rafi. You could make him like a moonshot card at that point. Uh, not a lot of contact, not a lot of vision, not a lot of fielding, not a lot of speed, not a lot of bunting, <laughs> a lot of discipline, a lot of power. Uh, Carlos Pena, was it 2007? Honestly, could have been an MVP. He was so good that year. Alex Wood. Wood's out for Alex, 92 mile an hour sinker. He's got the slur of ball, including a four seam and a circle change up. This guy, I do think, could be pretty good. I, I do think he can. He's got 93 hit per nine, 79 K9 is a little bit low. 114 pitch clutch is good. 84 BB9 with the slower velocity. He's going to throw a lot of strikes. It's going to be easy to control this guy. And he's got a pretty funky release too. He could be usable. 91 overall. And then finally, uh, Larry Walker, 92. He's coming in Fitting no captains, 92-103 contact, uh, mid-70s power, 100 clutch, 80 vision. Good defense, 85 fielding, 90 arm, 80 speed. He's got first base secondary. Uh, interesting little foursome. I mean, the most notable thing is probably the 30K XP that you get for doing this program. I will say... Larry Walker, Alex Wood, Carlos Pena, and Chris Davinsky are probably about the most random four names you ever could have conjured up. Chris Davinsky, I, I would have never guessed he was even an all-star. Carlos Pena is fun. Wood, I think, could be pretty good. Larry Walker, he just got a 99 at the end of season one. I, I don't know. It's, it's something. I, I don't want to be the guy complaining about programs because I wanted to see more programs in the game. I just think that reusing the same names and giving us a real lack of big names, reusing the same card art is just kind of not the best look. But anyway, let's keep on going. What do you get? Moment challenges. You're going to earn progress. A hit, a homer, three strikeouts, inning pitched, no hits, and a strikeout. Some PXP missions with those guys that you're going to earn, including All-Star Game Series, which aren't even out yet. Uh, stat missions, we've got uh, these. Retro All-Star Game event in an extreme moment. Strike out 10 on a Hall of Fame with Alex Wood. Uh, no thanks. I'd rather die. Anyway, we're going on to the event, which is really, really good. I'm very excited for Mr. Jorge Polanco. Hip, hip, motherfuckers. He's back in a Twins uniform, and event rewinds are also back. Glad to see. So if you missed out or sold the cards because you knew you'd get them free later, that's probably a good choice. Here's uh, TJ and Camille, and then Luis Robert and Paul Goldschmidt. Just for six wins. I mean, very quick that you're going to be able to earn those cards. Move on down to 10 wins. Jorge Polanco, 93 overall. And good Lord, they did not miss. Holy fuck, what a card. 118, 100 contact, 86, 80 power, 90 plus vision, max clutch. And he fits the Rafi Devers captain, which is going to get him over 
basically 100 power per side with 86 speed. Wow! They put out an excellent card right here. Switch hitter. He's also going to fit the Giancarlo Stanton theme team and the Corbin Carroll theme team. This is an excellent card. He's got two quirks, Rally Monkey and Homebody. I love it. And he's also going to fit my Twins theme team. I'm a happy gomer. Mm, excellent way to do events. I really, really like it. Let's check out the stipulations. This is going to end on July 2nd, which I believe is next Tuesday. So this is going to be a week-long event. They're going the shorter route again, which I think is a good thing if you make the win requirement less and you use All-Star Series, All-Star Game Series, Legends, and live series so i don't know how different this is really going to be from your main team no flashback cards like the london harper is not going to be available but legends live series and then all-star game cards which i don't know oh you can use out of season right or is it just season two you fuckers that's ah, just season two Hate that. Come on, let us use the cards that we actually played the game for. Not a big fan of that. Not a big fan. But, whoa! Pablo, Ana, two twins. <laughs> what? <laughs> 93, Pablo Lopez. Eight, uh, he's probably better supercharged right now. 83 hit nine, 87 K9, 92 walk nine. He's got the whole five mix, four seam sinker, circle changeup slurve, and a 12 six, including break outlier. So I think he's going to be pretty good. He's going to throw a lot of strikes. I wish the K per nine was a little bit higher. Um, 93 overall, he's a headliner. He's not going to go for too, too much. But uh, damn it, you got to go more excited. Putting out Pablo and Jorge Polanco. And finally, the Twin Cities Creams. I'm finally creaming this game here. Awesome. I, I'm happy about this update. <laughs> um, you know, okay, it's interesting. I'm actually very surprised that there is no choice pack today because they're putting out a new card series. New card series, a recycled card series, but new for this game. And there's no 40,000 stub choice pack, which is, I guess, good. I'm happy about that. Uh, looking forward, we've got... Uh, Roster upgrades, which we put out roster predictions yesterday. Check that out. Ton of opportunity to make a ton of stubs. Give that a look-see. That roster update's coming out on Friday. Season awards drop number four is also Friday and a new battle royale. One thing I do want to bring to attention here, it does sound like, based on the season two initial live stream, that the beginning part of chapter two is going to be a little bit delayed. We're not exactly sure when that's going to be, but they made it sound like it was going to be not as soon, not uh, one month past the initial launch of the game like Chapter 2 of Season 1 was. Because obviously, you look at the calendar, we've got the All-Star game coming up pretty soon, you know, middle of July, and you don't really want to get 93s and Team Affinity to celebrate the All-Star game. At least that's not that fun to me. So it sounds like maybe it'll be a little bit later. I don't have an exact date. We'll probably learn Friday. But yeah, I think that's the content today. You know, it's pretty good. I think the program could have been a hell of a lot better, but they sure did fix things with the event. I'm very excited to play it. I wish you could use Season 2 cards, but I'm very excited for that Polanco reward. And uh, yeah, that's all we got. Update coming Friday. Stay on the lookout. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed this one. And thank you all for watching.